jumping straight in i thought i would start off with the products that i've put into my shop my stash um oh yeah if you haven't already checked out the title this um declutter is basically going to be all my pencils so like lip pencils eye pencils um my liquid liners um some other kind of things some bases <laughs> and i don't know what you call these things um, but yeah, they're included. Anything to do with the eyes and lips, basically, in a form of a pencil or base is in this video. So I've been straight in. I thought, as per usual, I would start off with the stuff that I have in my shop by stash um, because I can't get rid of any of these products just yet until I finish that, which will be hopefully, hopefully finished soon. So the first thing is this Uma Beauty Drama Bomb Mascara and guys... I am seriously contemplating, this is the applicator, I am seriously contemplating purchasing the full size of this. This is, it says drama bomb and it literally is the bomb. <laughs> so yeah, I highly, highly, highly recommend this mascara. Um, I should have been using these other ones as well, but because I love this one so much, I just find myself using the same one over and over again. Um... This is the 5D Lash Pal Volumizing Mascara from Revolution. It's okay. Um, it doesn't really do much for me. I do use it every now and again and it's okay. It's nothing special. It's just a really nice mascara. And I guess it's because it's volumizing and it's not really lengthening. And I don't really need a lot of volume, but I do need length because I have like little tiny lashes so that's probably why um this doesn't work so much for me but the packaging if you haven't seen this one yet is so unique you have to press it down like this in order to open it up oops <laughs> this is obviously drying out <laughs> if you saw all of these little bits fall out of the packaging there's the wand all right so there's that and then we have the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I absolutely love this as well but I tend to just use this on my bottom lashes. There's not much left in here as you can see it's pretty much dry um, but I am trying to scrape out the last little bits just to get it out of the um, collection and I can finally you know get rid of this one. This I just sneaked in there. Um, I unboxed it on my channel recently. This is the what is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh, Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. And because it's such a small one, I kind of just pull it in there when I unboxed it on my channel. So I haven't actually used it yet, but I did open it. So hopefully I can get this used up and it's good. So I can't really tell you much about that yet. And this is the Dose Punk Volumizing Mascara. We had, at one point, we got a load of these in different beauty boxes. And it's really nice, actually. It really is. It's a nice mascara. It doesn't really, it's not like a wow for me. But, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people do like this mascara. But that wand is huge. Okay, and if you saw... Um, it was in my newness. I think that should have already gone up on my channel, actually. The um, couple of drawers of new products that I had when I sorted them out. This so happened to be in one of the drawers. I think that's the video I found it in. And I thought I'm going to pull it in um, my little drawer over there that I can use this up. This is the Lottie London Super Fake Force. Oh, I can't read that. I think it says Force Effect Mascara. That writing is super tiny there. Um, but yeah, I saw this when I opened it up and look at that. I just thought this would be perfect for my lower lashes. Um, especially because this one's drying up and coming to an end. And I have used this twice already on my lower lashes and it does work. So yeah, I'm loving this. I may just repurchase this. Um, guys, have you ever found that when you first get mascara and you open it up, it doesn't work as well as once it's been open for like a week or so? It kind of thickens up a little bit and then you, you get the real effect of the mascara. Or is that just me? Because I will have a mascara, absolutely love it for whatever reason. 
and then go and repurchase it and then when i first use it it's like oh it's not acting the same way it did with the last one i used but then when i pull it away and then i go back to it a few weeks later and i use it it's like wow so i don't know if it's the air that needs to get to it or what but drop a comment down below if you've experienced that anyway i'm waffling on right um we have two little liners here and these are practically dried out i'm just finishing these off in my shop mustache and that's the natasha denona liquid liner and guys this is my all-time favorite liquid liner i am seriously considering purchasing the full size of this but natasha denona i don't even want to look at the price of this eyeliner but if you've used this guys drop a comment down below because you'll know exactly what i'm talking about this eyeliner is just everything right and also the um kvd tattoo liner this one is okay it's really nice but it's not as good as the natasha denona um but yeah this is i think this is finished look it looks black on my hand there but when i go to put it on the eyes it dries out quickly especially the natasha denona look it's completely drying out guys so yeah they are coming to an end this is the ico london black magic liquid eyeliner looks like that it's really black it's nice it's got a thin point i don't know if you've seen that it's nothing special guys it's okay i'm just trying to get it used up this charlotte tilbury um the feline flick looks like this I'm hoping you've seen these properly guys and there you go it's up there it's a nice eyeliner guys but it still doesn't have nothing on the natasha denona guys for real and then this one is one that i've just started using which is the rare beauty one and it's perfect strokes and this may just be as good as a natasha denona i've only used it once in the makeup look using the love notes palette and it's the best i've managed to get my um look at that it's really dark it's the best i've managed to get my eyeliner so yeah i just felt it i, I had a lot of control while using it um but it looks like it's leaking guys look at that can you see that i don't know that could get quite messy Let's put the lid back on carefully. <laughs> right, so these are all in my shop mustache. And for now, they are staying. Once I've completed that shop mustache, I'll decide which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to get rid of. Right, guys, um, I did in December um, buy the monthly Sephora beauty bag thing. But I didn't get a chance to unbox it on the channel or unbag it on the channel. So I thought I would just do that right now, seeing as it's got like liner, mascara and stuff in. Right, so this is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. It just looks like this. And I'm going to keep that. And then this is the Clinique Eyeliner. I'm going to keep that also. And just to sneak this in, this is the One Size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. Um, I've heard good things about this primer. I haven't actually used it myself, so I thought I would pick it up and try it out. And then... I was so excited to get this, guys. It's the Heat. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Heat Gloss Bomb Heat. And um, when I saw it on there, it's in the shade Hot Cherry. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to grab that. But then now I've realised it's Universal Lip Luminizer and Plumper. So this is like a lip plumper, guys. And you guys know I don't use lip plumpers. So I'm not going to keep this. Look at that. It's going to go into a giveaway for one of you guys. So I'm going to put that right there. And then the last thing in here is a satin lip colour from the company Rose Ink. And it's in the shade Persuasive. Let's open this up see what this looks like. Oh, that is a nice colour. Let's see this. Oh yeah, that is a nice colour. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping this, guys right so um yeah i just thought i would sneak these into this video also right sorry about that right so now back onto the main video let's do these things first 
this is the Too Faced Smoke Show eyeliner. Oh yeah, the black eyeliner. I wanted to try this. I unboxed this recently on my channel and it felt really nice. Almost as nice as my Holy Grail MAC eyeliner. That reminds me, where did my MAC eyeliner go? Because it's supposed to be part of my shop, my stash. And I used it. It's probably over there on my makeup table. So we'll just leave that one out. Here is the Too Faced liner. I like the creaminess of that. I can't wait to use this. Um, so yeah, this is definitely staying. So this is giveaway. Um, this pile is my pile to keep. And then I'm going to have a declutter pile. Um, that's no good or pass on to friends and family okay so this is the um be perfect matte liquid liner in black um i got this in the mystery box look at that i i love that so i'm keeping this i can't wait to try this out um this is the make it big volumizing mascara um the morphe one and it looks like this. It's just got Morphe embossed on it, which I think is really pretty. Can't wait to try that out. So this is staying also. And then this is the liquid liner. Make it big Morphe liquid liner. So what's the difference between, this is a matte liquid liner. I guess this one isn't. I guess I've got to use this now that I've opened it. Oh my gosh, guys, look. What's going on there? Oh, that's a shame. And I haven't even got a chance to use it. Look, I think it's dried out from when I unboxed it. Well, that's ridiculous. So that's no good. That's got to go. So this is the throwaway pile. Oh, let me... Oh, how are we going to do this? Give away, keep, throw away. So these are keep, right? And the next thing is this Be Perfect. Oh, guys, sorry, I didn't even realise this is the Be Perfect matte liquid liner. This is the Morphe um, liquid liner. So, yeah, forget what I just said earlier, run away, one being matte and the other one not being. Okay, so this is the Be Perfect Lash Out Black Mascara. I thought this packaging was really nice as well. And it's such high quality. It's so heavy. I like that. So, yeah, this is staying keeping that let's go into these um bases right this creation base is pink i'm keeping this um these are the p louise bases some of them can be used some of them can't but i think all of these ones are brand new so let me just open them up and check you'll be able to tell if it's brand new yep brand new and this is Rumor number four, so that can be given away. This is number 10. I can probably use this as a contour shade, so I'll keep that. This is number nine. I'll see which one I can use. I'll keep that as well. I might 10 might be too dark. This is number eight. Um that's brand new as well. I'll keep hold of this. I can have a play around with them. This is Rumor Base Zero. I already have one of these that's opened. This one's brand new, as you can see. Don't want to squeeze it out. Right, so I'm going to put that into a giveaway. And this one is number five. I think I can put this into a giveaway as well. Yep, still brand new, unused. So giveaway. These pencils here. One of them's in the colour So Dramatic and the other one's in Timeless Truffle. Let's open these up and see if I've actually used these pencils or if I can put them into giveaways because I don't think these are my colours. Or I look, it looks like I've swatched this one. So I'll have to pass this on. Let me swatch this. Oh, look at that. 
but I just know I'm not going to use it. So I'll have to pass this on to friends and family. So I'll put that here, friends and family pile here. And this one is Timeless Truffle. Is this one being used? No, this one hasn't been swatched or used, you can tell. All right, so I can put that into a giveaway. These are the Be Perfect, um, I think they're liquid eyeshadows but i would more use these with a um a small detail brush and use it as like liner because they're quite metallic just to do liner work look at that that is really pretty but i just know i'm not going to use all of these colors so i was thinking about keeping this um hmm. I was thinking about decluttering these two, passing these two colours on to friends and family and keeping these four colours. So I'll keep these four. Um, I just unboxed this on my channel. This is some Lash Serum. So I'm going to keep hold of that. Hopefully that works. I haven't tried it yet. And here are my coloured bases. Let's go through these first and then I can focus on all on pencil okay so this is the colored base zero i think i've used this one yeah and i actually broke it <laughs> uh someone said that i should try using the lighter colors in the love note palettes and put down like a white base and see if that helps so i do have a white base i'm going to try that out so i'm going to keep hold of that and these are all the um eye bases so far that i've managed to collect i just want to double check to make sure i don't have duplicates and if i don't i am keeping all of these um because these kind of ones not only can you use it on your eyes but you can also use it as blush as well which i'm really looking forward to because i haven't tried it yet um but this is ott orange this one is a q in coral the only thing is this cute and coral shade is so light that I don't see myself actually using it. But I've swatched it. Mm. The thing is, do I want to keep it for collection purposes or am I really doing a proper declutter? I am. This is really light and I know I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to pass that on. So I'm going to keep OTT Orange. This one is Touch of Frost, which I'm going to keep. This one is is a hint of mint which i'm gonna keep this one is green with envy look at that it's really pretty guys and i love a good green but i just know i'm not going to use this because it's so light and again i'm gonna have to pass this on to a friend because this is not going to work for me on my lids All right this will um this is juicy jungle and then we have um, Vivid Violet. And then we have Summer Blue. I may just get away with using that. This yellow one I know is not going to work for me. I've tried it. It doesn't work. Yummy Yellow. Let's see. I know I've tried it. Yep. See, it's been opened. I've tried it. It doesn't work. So again, I'm going to pass that on. All right. Then we have these pinks. This one is Winter Rose. This one is Blowing Bubbles. That'd be really nice as a blush. Um, this one is... What colour is this? Inject Your Artistry. No, that's not the colour. This is called Purple Passion, I think. Purple Passion. And then this one is Daiquiri Diva. Love that colour. Um, then we have Bangin' Blue. We have Radiant Rosewood. Um, Pretty in Pink. Um, Pretentious Peach. Look at that. 
that's not gonna work for me so pass that on i think this one may be brand new not been opened let's see yeah this one's brand new not been opened so i can possibly just put this into a giveaway guys um this one here is keeping it khaki and then we have this one adore me apricot which would be really nice as a blush so these are all staying right and i've managed to part with four for a giveaway and three to pass on with, for, with to friends and family oh and here's another one this is color six and this is one that's been opened and that i have definitely been using let's see so oops i am going to keep hold of this one right and here are some mascaras that are already open right that i haven't finished these two i i know they're completely dried up they are 100 percent gone off look at that i've had this for so many years so that's bin this one here is again look at that dried up bin um but i do recommend these maybelline total temptations mascaras this was really good as well um, before chucking them away i may actually take a little screenshot or picture screenshot take a picture of this so that i can repurchase one of these they are good this is the max stack i've just not long opened this this was in my last shot my stash i didn't get a chance to finish it although it looks pretty finished don't it i may be able to get a couple more users out of that so i think i may just put this into my pile to go back into the shop my stash pile um I know I really shouldn't be adding products in during a shop my stash, but that looks pretty dried out. So I thought, you know what, if I can get a use out of it before I have to throw it, then why not? This is the Elizabeth Arden Standing Ovation Mascara. Again, this one's been opened. Um, it's not dried up, but it's definitely gone off, guys. I'm not putting this on my eyes. It smells funny. I've had this open for over a year. So, yep. And then we have the Benefit Bad Girl Lash. Um, look at this. Although it's not dried up, again, I've had this for quite a while, right? So I'm definitely going to get rid of it. And then this one I know I've had for almost two years. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but this was the limited edition one. Um, it's all dried up. It, well, around the edge bits just fell but the actual thing it still looks okay no it's not okay it doesn't smell very nice so yeah got to get rid of that and this is another punk volumizer mascara by is it do say do say and yeah this one i'm getting rid of All right this has been around for ages as well so yeah that's the get rid of pile next up we have these p louise fall in line um p louise fall in line liners and i'm seeing i have two of the same here so one i'm gonna try and pass on to a friend and one i will keep right and yeah so these four colors here i'm gonna keep i don't know how much use i'm gonna get out of these because it's very light um, I don't know if this is going to show up ashy on my skin tone. Although I have opened them, I haven't actually used it yet. Um, again, the blue I may get away with. The green, not so much. The pink I may get away with. The purple, not so much. And this is the only one I can see having full use out of. So yeah, I will do a video at some point with using these. Trying them out, seeing which colours I can use and which colours I can't. So, so far, I'm going to keep them. Okay, and this is three of the graphic ink liners from Made by Mitchell. I got the pink, the white, and the yellow. And I think the yellow is a little bit... Oh, no. <laughs> That's fine. Look at that. That's pigmentation, guys. And then the pink one... Well, you already know about the pink one, guys. Look at that. That is definitely my favourite. And then the white one for some line work is perfect. Look at that. So, yeah, these are staying also. I can't wait to use them. I haven't been able to yet. 
I got this. This is called Clean Color. I don't know if you can get if you can get this in the UK, but I bought this many years ago when I was in Jamaica. I got a whole set of them. Um, but this color, I don't know why I decided to pick up this color. It's purple, and you guys know I don't really like purple. And it costs a hundred and eighty dollars. So this is literally basically a pound in when you convert it yeah it's, it's around roughly about a pound and five pence something like that so yeah roughly about a pound and these are lip liners so this one i'm getting rid of i'm not keeping this it this hasn't even been opened yet and this is bare necessities highlighting pencil all right and i just know i'm not going to use it it's all sealed up so i may try and put that into a giveaway let's try and get some order let's go through these things properly these are five doll beauty liners and a lot of people are going to disagree with this but i don't really like the doll beauty liners i did like this shade um killing it um as you can see i lost the lid and it's been sharpened quite a bit let's see yeah i did like the shade killing it so I might keep that and steal another lid to go on it. Whoops. Let's steal another lid to go on this one. <laughs> so I'm going to keep killing it. This is called Spice Up Your Life. Let's see this one. Not really a me colour. So I'm going to declutter that. Um, what am I going to do? I don't have a lid for it now that I've stolen a lid. So I might not be able to pass this on, guys. I don't know. All right, and then we have um, Diva Forever. Let's see this colour. It's this one here at the top. Not deep enough for me, so I'm going to pass that on um, to a friend. This one is Lips Don't Lie. Let's see this one. It's this one here at the top. I have used it a couple times, as you can see. It needs sharpening. But, yeah, not a shade that I'm going to be using again. And then this one is Thank You, Thank You, Next. Let's see. Oh, this one doesn't even show up, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to pass that on. Right, I've tried to pick out from this little pile here oh, all the P. Louise ones that I can see. All right, um, I think that's it. So, let's look through this. This one is called Loyal. Oh, I like that. I'm going to keep that one. Loyal. This one is called Standards. And these ones here are Wind Up, which I really like. Standards, which is this one here. I think I can pass that one on. Right, this one is called So Dramatic. I think this is in a red colour. Yeah, it's a red colour there. I should keep this one and this one is in the shade speechless i won't even yeah i've already swatched it but i won't do it again because this is just not my shade it's too light so i'll put that there i have no idea what this is doing in here but this is the elf xx xx gen atkin um, I have two of these and the other one is an absolute fave and I keep it over there on my desk at all times. It's a really nice nude colour. It's a double-ended one lipstick, one liner, lip liner. I think that's why I kept it with the liners. And this is in a red shade, as you can see. Um, I don't think, I think I've swatched it but never used it. I don't even think I've swatched it to be honest with you, look. But I have swatched the liner, as you can see. So I think I'll pass that on. Next we have the NYX Control Eyebrow Gel. Um, I don't even know why I have this because I don't really use brow gels. So I'm going to just declutter that, pass it on. Yeah, I'm going to pass that on. Right, we have this LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner. I think this is in white. Yeah. There you go, I did it right here. 
but that's not a patch on the Made by Mitchell one. Can you see that? So I'm going to declutter this one. Um, I don't know anybody that would take this, so I'm going to just put that in the throwaway pile. This is the Color Crush She Glam, she -glam Color Crush. I'll get it right. This is the She Glam Color Crush liner. And this is in white also. Look at that. That's actually better than the LA Colors. Look at that. I may keep hold of this one just to do a comparison between this one and the Made by Mitchell. Well, there is no comparison. This is actually grey. It's like a grey kind of colour. It's like an off-white. And then this is really white. So yeah, I may actually just pass this on. I'm going to pass it on. I'm not going to keep it. We have the NYX Super Fat Eye Marker, which has already been opened. So I'm not sure why. Look at that. But it is drying out. It is dried out, guys. So I'm thinking... Ooh. Yeah, it's dried out. This has to be thrown out. I've managed to fish out three of the Made by Mitchell All Smudge No Budge liners. And these two are brand new, not even been opened yet. And this one is in the colour Ideas. And this one is in the colour um, Legendary. I think the red, you can use it on your eyes, but you can also use it as a lip liner. And because these haven't been opened... They're still very much sealed. I am going to put these into giveaways because I just can't see myself using it. So I'm going to put them over there. And then here is the, the green one in Charisma. Look, it's a really pretty colour, but I just know it's going to come out ashy on my eyes. So I think I'm going to just try and pass this on. Next, we have this Makeup Revolution Liquid Liner which I know has been opened, but I think I like this one. Yep. Oh no, it smells really, really bad, but it looks really nice. But no, it smells bad, so I'm going to get rid of that. And this one is another Makeup Revolution one, but you can see it's so old, the name has actually rubbed off of it. So I think this should smell just as bad, if not worse. Oh yeah, that smells like, ammonia like paint stripper that's horrible okay so they're no good and um, that has to be chucked out this is the um benefit goof proof brow pencil and this is in the shade does it tell you oh five so yeah this is my shade i can use this um let's see oh i've had it a while so as you can see <laughs> it's no good guys look at that yeah that's no good oh you can tell i'm loyal to my p louise um brow pencil i have two of these orange liners i think i'm going to keep one and declutter one um declutter one and keep one that's a really nice colored liner so yeah i'm going to keep one declutter one this one here, Lip Twister, W7 Lip Twister. This is in the shade uh, brown. It just says brown. Underneath here, look at that. I know it's not one I'm going to reach for. I may give my mum my that one. We have a Revolution one, again, in the shade, in a purple shade. I don't know if you're seeing that. I know I'm not going to use it, so... Oh that is broken i'm just gonna get rid of that this is the nars pigment longwear eyeliner and it's in the shade rodeo drive look at that and it's this is gonna be a really nice gold color look at that look how sparkly and glittery that is that is definitely staying guys managed to rub everything off my hands apart from the green pencil the made by mitchell all smudge, no budge. Once it's dried down, it does not budge. Right? So I've managed to get some of it off from scrubbing, but that little bit there just won't move. So um, he's true to his word. It doesn't budge. This little lip liner pencil 
you can tell i loved it i don't even know what brand it was but yeah it's time to get rid of that guys if you can hear snoring um as per usual you'll probably already know by now it's rambo um i tend to film at this time every day because this is when he tends to take his nap and he doesn't bother me um if i try and film any other time he'll want to play he'll be wanting to grab the products and stuff like that so yeah unfortunately he's snoring um so i hope it's not too off-putting okay so this is the elf love triangle lip pencil liner and this is in a brown shade all right i just know i'm not going to use that this is the neon la girl neon eye color in green let's just see real quick if that is a little ashy so as nice as it is it is really nice though but I just know, I don't know how I'm going to have to incorporate that into one of the looks. So I'm going to pass that on. Oh, this is another um, All Smudge No Budge. Is this the same one that I used? No, this is a green. This is the green one that I can use. Yeah, see? There's the green one that I can use. There's the one that will turn out ashy on me. So I will keep this one. The, the other one I decluttered. These are some more neon liners. Um, the green one I got rid of, but these, this purple and pink one, I can definitely use. The pink one I have used. Look, <laughs> the purple one. There you go. I can use that. And that's like on the pinky purple side, so that's perfect. We have a MAC liner in Ruby Woo. It's in the colour Ruby Woo. And I love Ruby Woo, but I don't like the liner. And look it's like it, i got a dud because it dried out even though it needs sharpening <laughs> i am going to get rid of that we have a brow definer eyebrow gel and this is in the shade oh i can't see the shade but it's a makeup academy brow liner and it's in dark brown which looks like it would work well for me um it's all sealed so i'm going to keep hold of that <clears throat> okay this is the carl lagerfield and model co liner and this is in the shade it doesn't say but yeah look at that color guys it's really pretty all right i'm gonna pass that on to a friend this is the roxy revolution um liner it's in pink I don't know what happened there but i can't use it it just needs sharpening guys i'm gonna pass that on to a friend this is the steve laurent pencil i have no idea i've already that's too light for me so again i'm gonna try and pass that on to a friend here's another lip twister w7 in the shade is it gonna say red malbec let's see this oh that is a pretty shade guys but I just know I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to pass that on. Um, along with this Wet n Wild lip pencil crayon. Oh, look at that. Let's see if I can pass this on. That's not my shade of red. Let me see if I can pass that on. We have a Barry M liner in the shade allure oh that's expired chuck out these are the boohoo liners that i picked up um i won't be able to read oh it's in shade 02 and 06 i think so this is shade 02 this is a brownie shade All right really nice i know i'm not going to use that so pass on to a friend and this is in the 06 shade again this is in a reddish kind of color they are so creamy guys really nice but i just know i'm not going to use them so pass them on so that so you know somebody else can make use out of them this is the wild side color morphe liner really creamy really nice just not going to use it guys so pass that on to a friend um this is the sleek life proof 12 hour wear um eyeliner it's still sealed so i'll keep hold of that 
Um, I may give that to my mum. Uh, this is a lip liner in a reddish kind of shade. I won't open that up. I'll pass that on. And this is like um, a berries shade. There you go. That one down there. I just know I'm not going to use it. So pass that on. I have two of these W7 Twist and Shape liners. Oh, look. It's finished, guys. So this, back in the day, I used to use this all the time. They were my favourite to do my eyebrows. Look. So yeah, um, they're done. What colour, what is this? Revolution. I think this is the Marilyn Monroe pencil in the red. Yep, it is. Pass that on. This is the Technic Ombre Lip Liner um, in Plum. I can't see myself using this. So yeah, I'm going to pass that on as well. This is a Power Brow MUA Luxe Shape and Highlight. I think this is expired, guys. But that highlighter is nice. Look, can you see that? That's supposed to go underneath the brow. And then this one here, I guess, is what you use to do your brows. I don't think I used it because it was on the grey side for me. So, yeah, got rid of that. And then this is a unique pencil, guys. I've had this for so long. In pompous. <laughs> this is definitely dried out. Yeah, that's no good. These are my Revolution Pro liners. I used to use this religiously. After the W7 ones, I switched to these really fine Revolution Pro um, brow liners. And then I found the P. Louise ones. So... I still have all of these brow liners, which I just refuse to get rid of because I always say for emergencies, yeah, they are still in working order, even though they've been open. So I just don't want to throw them away. Yeah, I don't want to throw these away, guys. I am going to keep these. Imagine I've been lucky. I've opened each one of them on the pencil side and not the, um, this side here has a, um, uh, what do you call that? A spoolie. <laughs> yep. I managed to do it again. Oh, this one doesn't have as much pigment, so I may get rid of this one. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. That's no good. And keep these. Okay, this is another e.l.f. lip liner in another pinky kind of colour. So I'll pass that on. This is another unique pencil in the shade Prim, which is like a goldy kind of colour. Look there. It's really pretty. But I've had this for so many years that I just know it's no good. I wouldn't put that on my eyes. We have the Barry M. Bold Waterproof Eyeliner in white. Um... There you go. I've always wanted to try and put this in my waterline. So I'm going to keep hold of that and give that a try. This is the Kevin Ocon. I hope I've said that right. Eye pencil. It's a black eye pencil. Oh, no, it's a dark blue. Even better. I don't have one of those. So I'm keeping that. Um, did I show you properly? It's this one here. Right, and then we have a Colourpop Cream Gel Liner. Oh, look at that colour, guys. Do you see that? So pretty. I'm keeping that. This is a Marc Jacobs Liner. Look at this. I forgot I had all of these, guys. Oh, and you wind it up. Oh, that is so, so pretty, guys. Look at that. I love gold. So, yeah. Keep. This is a revolution. It doesn't even say what it is. I think it's another liner. There's a spoolie. On that side. This side is a liner. 
look at that that's definitely gonna pull like where it's old it's in the shade dark brown it's that color right there so i'm gonna chuck that out this is the lord and berry perfect brow magic pencil definer again a spoolie on this side right my luck has seemed to run out and then dark brown on this side let's see no too light for me so yeah too light for me and a little scratchy so i'm gonna just declutter that out and then this one is meech and mia brow liner yeah this is also expired guys all right but this is what it looked like so i'm gonna get rid of that and then we have this i have no idea what brand this is it's rubbed off which tells me that this has got to be expired even though it's still working pretty well i wouldn't put that on my eyes just had a smell it doesn't smell bad but yeah i'm gonna get rid of that and then this is a Stila smudge slick waterproof eyeliner looks like this don't know if that's showing up Stila. And then it's a wind up one. Again, it's like a rose gold kind of color. I don't know if you're seeing that there. It's really pretty. So another metallic liner, which I can keep. And this one here is, I can't really tell what it is because it's all rubbed off. It's a brown color. <laughs> right and you can tell that's out of date it looks manky but there's the color right there right so i'm gonna get rid of that and then we have three la la colors liners i got this in the shop miss a haul yeah the shop miss a all all the shop miss a haul <laughs> yeah i got these three in there so I think I only unboxed one on the channel when I did that video. This is a really nice pretty colour, but it's too light for me. It, I just know I'm not going to use it. So this is in the shade Hazelnut. Yeah, it's in the shade Hazelnut. So I'm going to pass that on. This one is in the shade Chocolate. Which is this one here. Again... I know I'm not going to use it. And then this one is in the shade Nutmeg. Look, all pretty colours, but I just know I'm not going to use them. So I may just pass them all on. This thing here I got as a set from Revolution. It's the Influencer Overnight case, which comes with all these different colour pencils which I thought were, was really good, but some of these colors just won't work for me. So even though it's nice to have the set, I just know that some of these colors are not gonna get used. So I may just pass them on, especially if they've not been swatched. Well, I wouldn't pass them on. I wouldn't put them into giveaways because, yeah, I wouldn't put them into giveaways because, you know, it came as a set and they've been opened for a good few months now. So. Here's the blue one. Let's see this. That's a really nice pretty blue. So I think I will keep that one. This pink is not going to show up on me. Look at that. Even though that looks really nice. It might show up. Oh, Chantel, stop it. I'm going to pass that on. This green is... I'm not even going to swatch it. It's not going to show up on me. It's too light. And if that green was too light, this is just ridiculous. It's not going to show up. And if it does, it would be ashy. This yellow, again, not going to show up. So pass on. Um, the red, I did try and use it. It didn't show up. Even though when you swatch it here, it's like an orangey kind of colour. It looks like it would show up, but it didn't. Black, which will obviously show up, which is really nice. Can't wait to use that the white i can put that in my waterline so again creamy and nice this is a like dark browny kind of grayish color i can use that as well All right and then this color this beige kind of color 
um, I wanted to try each one, the white and this colour in my waterline. I think this colour may be better than the white as I'm of a darker skin tone. So yeah, these I will keep. These are the last of my pencils and these are in the work. These were in these cases, right? So these are the ones that I tend to use all the time, right? My go-tos, well, most of them are. Um, some of them I've not used before. So um, most of these are probably going to keep, not going to put um, give away, right? So I don't know what this is doing in here, but this is a brow fixer gel, right? So I will put that over there. And this is a mini, oh, I thought I didn't have one. This is um, a P. Louise mini hula, bro, hula gloss. So that's nice. I'm going to keep that as well. And then this is a So Plumped Vitamin Lip Glaze. Oh, So Plumped. I think that might mean that it's a plumping one. Yeah, I think I might have to pass that on. <laughs> right. Okay, and then this is a nail um, cuticle oil. So I'm going to give that to my mum. I'll put that in there in the giveaway pile so I'll remember. Oh, this is one I was talking about. When I when I showed the other one, the red one, and I said I always have this by my side and I use it. It's in the nude colour. I know this isn't supposed to be part of the video, but look at this, guys. That is like the perfect nude for me. So I'm forever wearing this. I've tried to repurchase this from the e.l.f. website and they don't have it in stock, right, which is a bummer, but yeah, I really like this, so yeah, this is a definite keep, right, these are all liners, like crayon liners from Beauty Bay, and that's the only problem I find with Beauty Bay, with their packaging, as nice as it is, and you can see that it's a crayon liner, they don't have any colour on it, and the colours that they name them are like ice lemonade. So is that going to be like white? Clear? Look. Uh, and ink, coffee, vanilla. Oh, I have two vanillas. That's odd. Right. Um, stay peachy and cotton candy. I know that's got to be pink. No, it's not even pink. Look at that. Right, so these are all going to stay, guys, because I want to have a little play around with all these different shades, like light coloured shades in my waterline and see which one actually works for me. Um, I have two vanillas here, so I'm not going to keep both. This actually looks brand new, unswatched. I may just pass that on to a friend. And this one it looks brand new, unswatched as well. So I'm going to keep this one. This is the vanilla one down here, guys. So I'm going to keep these. I want to have a play around with them. This is the Push Popping Liner from Doll Beauty. Um, this is a liquid liner. Oh, it's brown. Look at that. Um, that's pretty. I'm going to keep that. This is the... Is it Mina or Threena? I don't know liner in again brown look at that i did that kind of thick there it's really good quality definitely going to keep that keep all the browns together this is a morphe liquid liner there you go in black keeping that i'll put that in a different category this is the mia Ex expert look eyeliner i don't think i liked this there you go it's nice enough, just not for me. And I've had this a while, so I'm going to put that into the declutter pile. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And this used to be my holy grail. Look at that. So I'm keeping this, but I hardly use this anymore. But I'm definitely keeping it. This is Lash Glue, so I don't know what that's doing in there. But I'm going to keep those to the side. This is P. Louise Lip Liner in Privacy. Let's see. Look at that colour, guys. It's really pretty, just not for me. I'm not going to use that. So I'll pass that on. And this is a lip liner, Beauty Bay lip liner in pulp. This needs a good sharpen. There you go. Look at that colour there. Right, I'll keep hold of that. 
I don't have many purples. Um, this is the Revolution Super Fill Lip Liner in the shade Ooh, Wonder, um, which I really like. I reach for this one a lot. Look at that. So yeah, definitely keeping that. It's a really nice brown. This is the P. Louise um, in Wild Walnut. Oh, I like that brown. This is the kind of browns that I go for, guys. So, yep, that's staying. This is a ColourPop liquid liner in, is that blue? Yep, blue. But look at that, guys. It bleeds. I literally just put that in. That has to be one of the worst liquid liners. Look, it's just bled everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to declutter that. Let me declutter that one. This is the Extreme Bold 24 Hour Felt Tip Calligraphy Liner. Um, and the brand is Collection. Ooh, that's different. Look at that. So I guess you do it this way for it to be thin. And then you do it this way for it to be thick. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's staying. Got to try these out. Right, and this is Long Lasting Twist Eyeliner. Is this? It's in black. Oh, what brand is this? Beauty UK. And it's in black. There you go. Just a standard eyeliner. It's fine. Um, this is a Revolution Pro naif purple rain i um lip liner eyeliner it's purple rain it's like a brownie purpley kind of color oh this needs sharpening guys it's dried out here but it's not gone off it just needs sharpening look it's that color here i really like this color i've used it quite a bit so i'm keeping that This is a, another MAC eyeliner. Um, this reminds me so much of the one that I'm using now. Look at that. It's right here, guys. Um, I can't recommend this enough. So I'm keeping this. Yeah, I'm keeping that. This is a Revolution lip liner in the shade Chauffeur. Um, it's brand new. It's not been swatched or anything like that, but it doesn't have plastic on it. So I'll try and pass that on to a friend. These are the other liners that I received, not received, that I bought from Jamaica for $180. And um, I have dark brown, black cherry, and what color is this? Deep red. So this deep red one, I think, yeah, here, this one here. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to keep the cherry. Let me see. This one here is the dark brown, which I really like. Look at that. It's still so creamy. All right, and I couldn't believe I got it for $180. And this is the wild cherry, or is it? Is it wild cherry? What color is this? Black cherry. There you go. It's there. Love that as well. So I'm going to keep hold of that. This is a Wild and Berry, just a bog standard black liner, so I'll keep that. And this is a brown liner from Unique, so I'm going to keep that. This is the cherry, not cherry. Um, I don't know what colour this is. It doesn't actually have a colour, it just says T134A. But this is the Soph liner, and this is the colour of it here such a pretty color but i just know i'm not going to get use out of it so i'm gonna pass that on this is a limited edition mac and tiana taylor pencil in night moth i think i have the other version of this as well um here it is there there it is in night moth this just needs a good sharpen i'm keeping that um here's two uh pencil lipsticks um, from Maybelline, one's in 310, one's in 210, very similar, I like both, 
This one is 310, as you're seeing. And then this one here is in 210, which is, they're just so creamy and pretty. I'm keeping those. These are two ColourPop liners, which are so old, guys. And look at that. <laughs> Disgusting. And this one, it went exactly the same when I tried to sharpen it. Um, yeah, I think these are over and done with now. So I'm going to get rid of those. This is the um, IRL lip liner in is this mochaccino uh americano brown let's put this here look at that it's right there really pretty color so i'm gonna keep that one this is a w7 black eyeliner just normal so i'm gonna keep hold of that um here are a couple mac liners this is the one i was talking about in night moth so i i have it in both again it needs to be sharpened it's right there really pretty and then where did the other one go oh here this is in chestnut which i always use there you go there's chestnut really pretty right so i am keeping hold of that as well right here are some nyx liners um what colors are these this one is in alabama let me try this out oh it's that color there i may try and pass that on and this one here is in the shade urban cafe i think if i've read that correctly i haven't got my glasses on that's a really nice color it's the one up here so i think i'll hold on to that one and then this one is in the shade Total Baller. I've seen it. And let me do this one here. It's hit this one here in the middle. Again, that's a bit light for me, so I'll try and pass that on. We have the Huda Beauty pencil in the shade Vixen. And as you can see, I absolutely love this. It's going down pretty quick. Look at that. Look at the size of it. Just need sharpening. There you go. It's that one right here. Love that. So I will be keeping that. We have a couple more from Revolution. One is in... No, this is MAC. Sorry. And this is in the shade Burgundy. Let me see this. As nice as this shade is, I think I'm going to try and pass that on. I'm not going to keep that one. This one is in the shade Glory and this is Revolution. Oh, wrong way. Revolution. This is a really nice brown shade. Ooh, it's dried out, guys. So, time to get rid of that. This is a Profusion liner. I think I'm going to keep this one because this is the only one I have from that brand. Oh, and it is a really nice dark brown. So, yeah, that's a double bonus. So, I'm going to keep that. Um, this one is Beauty UK. Oh, that's a really nice plummy colour. So, I'll keep hold of that. What shade was that? Plum Pout. And then this one here is a Lottie London AM to PM. I think this is supposed to be an eyeliner in brown, but I use it as a lip liner. Here we go. So I'm going to keep hold of that. Continue using it as a lip liner. I have this Barry M lip liner in So Chic. Let's see this one. Here we go. It's this one right here. I'm going to declutter that one. It's not dark enough for me. And then I have these two liners, guys, from Primark. And I have to keep one of them for my video. And I think I'm going to keep the darker one. Oh, that may be too dark. Look at that. It's supposed to be eyeliner, but I use them as lip liners. And this one is... Oh, it doesn't have a shade. I think it came as a two-pack. But let's do it up here. Here you go, that one there. That one's too light. <laughs> so I'm going to have to declutter this one and keep hold of the darker one. That's just for a video. I want to do 
uh, try and do a full face of Primark makeup because I have some foundations. So, um, so yeah, I think that's it. We've come to the end of the video, guys. So this was a long one. Apologies for that. I'm going to see if I can cut it down as much as I possibly can. Um, just to recap, these are things that are expired. So I managed to get rid of quite a bit, guys. These are things that I'm going to try and pass on to friends and family, guys. If you can see all of this stuff. Which is a lot. And these things here, apart from this, I am going to put into giveaways. Because they're still all sealed brand new. So, yeah. Um... I always try and um, give to you guys as well as keep for myself and to give to friends and family. And because I have all of this on my hands, guys, I have literally, you're not going to be able to see it, but I have stained this whole cover here and over there. And I wanted to film another declutter today. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that because this cover now needs washing um if you made it this far thank you so so much for watching i really do appreciate each and every one of you before you all click off please remember to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so and then click on the little notification bell and then click all so you never miss another upload from me or another declutter this is a huge series guys and we haven't even scratched the surface yet um you may have seen lips part one lips part two you may have seen the blush which i know you have um highlighters um, my new uh, products that I had stored in two different drawers. Um, I still have my foundations, um, concealers, primers, setting sprays, skincare, hair care, miscellaneous. Um, there are so many different videos that I still have left to film, guys. So, yeah, please bear with me. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you are enjoying the declutter series so far. And I hope I'm doing a good job with getting rid of stuff that i know i'm definitely not going to use not just keeping them for the sake of keeping them to have a large collection right guys once again thank you so so much for watching until next time have a beautifully blessed day and i'll see you all again soon bye for now